On 2 July 2019, the PDPC received a complaint from a member of the Civil Service Club. According to the complainant, when he accessed his virtual membership card through the organization's membership web portal, he discovered that he was able to access a web directory. The directory contained profile photographs of other members and their respective NRIC slash FIN numbers, which were used as file names for their profile photographs, including the complainants. In October 2009, the organization engaged an IT vendor to develop its club management system, CMS, with the scope of work specified in a November 2009 contract. The CMS and membership portal were launched in stages, and on the 1st of March 2019, a virtual card feature was added using members' NRIC slash FIN numbers as file names for profile photos. Issues with different file formats and sizes for profile photos led the vendor to monitor and troubleshoot for three months, ending on the 9th of July 2019. To analyze member behavior and file characteristics, the vendor temporarily enabled public access to the photo directory on three occasions. On the third occasion, the vendor's engineer failed to disable public access as required, exposing approximately 1,770 members' profile photos and NRIC FIN numbers to anyone with the directory URL. For breaching the protection obligation under the PDPA, Civil Service Club was made to pay a financial penalty of 20,000 Singapore dollars. So, what are the takeaways? First, regardless of whether there is a written contract when engaging the services of an IT vendor, the organization may still be liable when a breach occurs, especially if the vendor does not process personal data for the organization. It should be noted that precautionary measures must still be put in place to ensure that, upon engaging the vendor's services, the personal data that the organization holds is kept safe. Second, human errors plague the cybersecurity posture of every organization in Singapore, and these are rampant, especially when there are no policies in place to prevent this from happening. Lastly, appointing a Data Protection Officer, DPO, is a mandatory role in every organization. The DPO plays a critical role in ensuring PDPA compliance and advising stakeholders on essential obligations, including the protection of personal data. It's important to note that DPOs can be either in-house or outsourced to professional PDPA service providers, such as Privacy Ninja. 